time for some more software in the loop. Software in the loop on a new confuser. Hooray, hooray. Um, so I have just uh, installed X-Plane 11 on this new machine. Managed to hook it up to, I'm going to hit these buildings, aren't I? Managed to, oh no, it's going to turn out of the way. <laughs> Managed to hook up uh, Mission Planner and there's a couple of changes. Let me just show you how, uh, what, what I've just uh, discovered. Let's get rid of Mission Planner. Let's go up here to Settings. Uh, now, on the uh, General Data Output tab, Data Output tab, uh, IP address, this bit stays the same, 127.0.0.1 and 49001. But on the network doohickey up here, actually, I wonder I wonder if I just ruined the SITL thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I had to go to the forum to find the answer to this because it wasn't working. It wasn't working because I put 49,000 in there and 49,000 in there and 49,002 in there. And in actual fact, you had to put a random or a port that's not used in the port we received on. So in this case, 49010 is what was suggested, so it's what I used. And then the uh, legacy port 49,000 and 49002 is all good and that worked just fine. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's get Mission Planner back up and see if Mission Planner uh, didn't ruin its day. It didn't ruin its day, so here we are, uh, flying the future, as it were. Kitty Hawk Cora, absolutely no tuning done on this whatsoever. This is just, I've just put a waypoint mission into um, uh, Mission Planner and, and hit go and sent it off. There's there's already some issues, issues with speed and stuff like that. Uh, but, you know, we'll, we'll find out. And if you have listened to me ranting every tuesday at 2100 gmt on our drone and sundry weekly rant hangout thing uh, you'll discover i'm no great fan of separate lift thrust and this is an urban air mobility sort of a thing um so this isn't what i'm wanting to test uh on on this platform i just thought it'd be a fun thing to use for this little video so there we go that is how you connect x-plane 11 to software in the loop as of uh, whatever it is now, June 2019. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll show you. Let's, uh, what should we do? Let's do this. Let's make this window here a little little bit bigger. Let's just go uh, and have a look at uh, how I connected up to it. Uh, I won't, I won't, you go, when you want to do it, you go to the simulation tab and then you put X plane down in here and you go here. But I'm not going to do that now because it's in and it's happening and that's what's going on. Now you see here's the, look, it's not matching its airspeed, uh, it's not got its height, so obviously there's lots of tuning and stuff to be done. All this airspace information coming in, that's live from Altitude Angel, uh, baked in, baked in no less, to Mission Planner. Uh, and I must admit, I'm quite disappointed. How far is it? The dome's over here somewhere, isn't it? Have we gone past the dome? No, we have, we just went past the dome, was it there? I am quite... No, I'm more than quite. I'm very disappointed with the built-in um, uh, scenery for X-Plane 11. Uh, say, this is the first time, really, that I've run it. So there's probably some settings I haven't used. I don't know, all the buildings seem to be in Germany or somewhere or Eastern Bloc. Hmm. 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 Could do better, X-Plane. All right. Enough is enough. I'm going to get on and try and test some of the things I really wanted to test. Again, that's how you connect up to X-Plane 11 now in June of 2019. Look forward to seeing you Tuesday, 2100 GMT. Cheers for now.